Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I did promise in my last video that I was going to try and do an August favourites. This is kind of an August favourites, but in September. And a lot of the stuff I bought in August anyway, so let's just do a haul and see what happens, shall we? Getting straight into it then. Uh, a lot of you guys are always asking me about my eyelashes. My eyelashes. Obviously, I do wear fake eyelashes, and yes, I do wear them every day. Yep every day even at work and I always get asked loads of questions about which ones do I buy what brand blah 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 blah. and at the moment my favorite eyelashes are these ones here these are the Vegas Ney collection um I had to look her up actually it sounds really awful I didn't know who she was but it was fine because she doesn't know who I am either Vegas Ney is a famous Instagrammer I believe and she's a beauty person, makeup artist. I'm not actually a massive fan of products brought out by bloggers, vloggers. I know it sounds really bad because I'm one myself and if I was given the opportunity I would totally do that. Just saying. I always wonder if it's actually them who's done it or if they've just been, they've just had their face put on it. I'm actually really really impressed with this collection. I think being a makeup artist herself she sort of knows um, what sort of styles she likes herself. Don't know if you're able to see those very well. But they actually give a really nice fanning effect on the eyes and they, they're sort of made to look more like actual eyelash extensions as opposed to just stick on ones. Um, and they've actually got pointed ends. A lot of eyelashes you'll find are very square at the end. You might not notice it, it's very very subtle, but they are square on the ends and these are actually pointed which gives them that bit more natural look. Um, for me, volume and length are a big thing and these have got both. Um, these are the Grand Glamour ones and they are £8, which is quite pricey for me for eyelashes because I get through them so quickly because I wear them every day. Um, but I was really impressed with this, so I bought quite a few of those and I'm just going to stock up on them. Next up is actually my normal shimmer that I do use and it's actually the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Powder. For £3, absolute bargain. Um, it goes on really easy, it lasts all day, it's still quite subtle. I've tried the Benefit one in the past, I've tried the Topshop one, I've tried various brands. Um, but this is actually my favourite and it's an absolute bargain as well so I picked that up as well and I thought I'd share that with you guys. I gave in to Temptation a little bit this month. So last month I went to Southampton and visited some friends and they had just got back from Florida and with them bought all kinds of Disney universal beautifulness um, and in particular my friend Sarah had binged on Zoom Zooms which for those of you who don't know are these little squidgy Disney character toy things and they're really really cute. At the time I was like oh they're cute, yeah they're quite sweet I suppose but I'm not really much of a cuddly toy person. When I got home, went to Clinton's where they sell them and then just ended up buying these little guys. They're so cute! Sarah actually does these amazing Zoom Zoom hauls on her own YouTube channel which I will link below. I picked these two up. All Zoom Zooms are technically limited edition. Once the range comes out they tend to go. So there's, so far there's a Toy Story collection, there's a Night Before Christmas collection just come out, Frozen, things like that. These two were my favourites so far. I also really really wanted the Toy Story Alien and Sarah very kindly tracked one down and sent it to me so that's actually on its way in transit. Um, they're £3.50 each and I just thought quite sweet. Apparently because they've got little chamois cloth on the bellies they're supposed to be for like cleaning your phone. No one's going to clean their phone with these they're just to look sweet and they stack as well so once you get a couple more you can stack them on top of each other but quite a different thing to what I'm usually used to buying but I'm pretty pleased I got those so and don't forget to um, check out Sarah's haul as well she's got so many um, and they're awesome. So that I got those two as well. <sighs> what else did I get? As always, I ventured to the utopia that is Primark. I didn't go as mental as I thought it would. Normally I go to the Oxford Street Primark and ruin my life, uh, get myself in a lot of financial trouble. This month I was pretty good and first thing I picked up was this bag. Look at it. It's so pretty. Um, a couple of months ago you might remember that I picked up a bag that looked almost exactly like this, minus the tassels. I like that it has a little strap if you just want it to be just a little night out bag, or a big strap if you want to make it your everyday handbag. Um, and it was only £10 and I really liked it so I bought it. So there. Also from Primark this month I picked up this cute corduroy style pinafore dress. It's got a nice little zip detail on the side. Um, and the annoying thing is, is that I actually bought one almost identical to this in Topshop about 
a month or so ago for about £35 and this was only 10 The only downside being that it is incredibly short and um, that was a sort of a big problem for me. I actually wore it one day and found I was constantly pulling it down. Also from Primark, you may have noticed that their coats are coming in quick and fast and I love coat season. I found this. This is a denim jacket with a sort of faux sheepskin on the inside. I actually got this about two, three sizes bigger because I wanted it to still look quite vintagey. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with the quality of it. It's really nice and it's sort of nice, thick and layered and super warm as sort of for those months where it's not quite winter yet but it's worthy of a jacket and it's a little bit cold like I've noticed the last couple of days couldn't have nabbed that up quicker if I tried got that as well I went into New Look which is really really rare for me I never ever go to New Look nothing against them anything like that it's just when I used to go in there quite a lot I sort of found that I was struggling to find stuff that I actually liked however had a casual little browse on their website this month couldn't, couldn't get enough of it. I had a bit of a break between Fright Fest films. I was waiting for the next film to start and I had about an hour or so, so I thought I'd walk along from Leicester Square to the Oxford Circus New Look store and pick some stuff up. So first of all, I picked up this black corduroy button down skirt, which is probably the most favorite thing I've bought in months. I've worn this so much already. I've worn it with so much stuff. It goes with everything. I love it so much and I've worn it to death already. Really, really impressed with you, New Look, well done. And then of course to go with the skirt I had to get a top um, and I'm a bit obsessed with stripes at the moment as you can tell and I love that sort of 70s vibe that a lot of the shops have got going for them at the moment. And I found this top, um, I got it a little bit bigger because it just made my boobs look a bit pornographic really. A bit polar necky as well which I really liked, a bit sort of vintagey looking um, and it looks really nice with my corduroy skirt so I picked that up as well from New Look. And finally from New Look I also got this dress here, it's super baggy, which I love, um, and it's also got that high neck, which seems to be really, really in at the moment. I just really like the pattern on there, it's sort of got that really nice gradient, um, so it sort of looks a bit premium whilst being super uber comfy as well. Um, and that was only 17 99 which I thought was a really, really good price. Again, I've worn it loads already, it's really comfy just to throw on, it looks really nice with a denim jacket over the top and a nice chain make you look proper 70s and sleazy, I love it. It's nice and fitted on the arms and then nice and baggy on the bottom, so got that. Last but by no means least, a couple of months ago, and this is my fault because I've just been so busy, I was sent an amazing package by a vintage outlet called House of Bricks, which are amazing and you need to check them out, I'll put the link below. Um, and they sent me some really, really cool stuff, so I thought I'd show you that today. First up is this amazing stripy red jumper, but look how awesome, it's got like shells, and starfish and like a little anchor and stuff on there, very nautical um, and I thought it was really really cute so thanks very much to those guys for sending me that really really reasonable prices as well I thought, I was really really impressed with that and finally they sent me this really nice floral crop top as well so it's got a little tie up bit, very 50s, very cute I think it would look really really cute under a pinafore or something like that so thanks very much to House of Bricks for sending me those two amazing pieces very very chuffed with those so that's it for this month's haul. Um, probably do another one at a not later date, maybe. Um, but thanks very much for all your support so far, guys. My last video, like, loads of you watched it, and I wasn't expecting that, and I really, really appreciate it. It's nice to know that somebody watches it. As usual, like, subscribe, and I'll love you forever. And thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.